Those were the good old days. Those were the good old days. Years go by, but the memory stays. And those were the good old days. Thank you so much for going down memory lane with me. Let me take you back. I told you a story of uh, Thanksgiving at Pap and Grandma's. Uh, my uh, grandma, my, my grandpa Alfred, uh, Papa Grandma is my uh, dad's parents. And I'm gonna tell you the story of Thanksgiving time at uh, my mom's parents, my Papa Lolo, and my grandma Idabel uh, Swisher. Uh, my Papa Lolo, like it says, partially blind. He is the most remarkable man I ever met. Uh, uh, go down memory lane with me and learn a little bit about my Papa Lolo uh, and the things that uh, he was able to do. Uh, the, that makes him the most remarkable man uh, that I ever met. Anyway, Papa Lowe, uh, at Thanksgiving time, you know, he'd, he'd get a turkey, he'd put it in the oven, you know, like I say, he's partially blind, but the man was just remarkable. He was uh, an amazing man. Um, he would uh, uh, stuff it, you know, after the bird was, uh, you know, uh, just about ready to come out or whatever, he'd stuff his stuff, or, you know, he'd put, or he'd put his own stuffing in there, you know, he'd, you know, uh, take some toast and you know, bring up the, uh, the bread, and, you know, and the toast, and go ahead and put a little bit of mixtures of uh, celery and all the other stuff in there and make his own homemade dressing. Uh, you know, had turkey, the homemade dressing, the mashed potatoes, uh, uh, that macaroni and cheese, uh, that baked macaroni and cheese he made that just melted in your mouth and uh, was just amazing. Uh, uh, but uh, Papa, old Grandma Idabel, like I said, uh, thanks for your time over there was, you know, once again, it was about family, you know, it was about uh, uh, love for family, you know, and uh, everything. There have been a few bickers, uh, arguments here back and forth, but when it comes down to Thanksgiving and the holidays, all that was put aside uh, there, uh, when it, and uh, everything was uh, uh, all good to go. I guess Papa Lowe made his own dressing and uh, made that, uh, you know, put the stuff in the turkey, made that great macaroni and cheese. My grandma Idabel made uh, uh, an apple uh, walnut salad, if you will, a uh, little bit of apples there, peel the apple and put the uh, uh, the apple uh, uh, there and. Uh, Cut up pieces of the apple, a little bit of walnuts, uh, and, uh, some Cool Whip, uh, apple walnut salad is uh, uh, what it was actually called. And uh, like I said it was just it was just amazing, you know, to, to eat over there. The Papa Lo was the uh, was the awesome cook. Uh, you definitely uh, uh, got your belly full there, and uh, you definitely done what you had to do. And like I said, it was just time to gather and do do, do you know do what you had to do. You know, a little bit of love uh, that was spread. Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, with the meal, and uh, you know, just uh, to actually uh, be there and actually uh, have a good uh, Thanksgiving dinner. Like I said, if there was any issues with the family or any problem issues, all, all those issues were put aside on the holidays, so that uh, everybody could come together as one. What it's all, what it is all about. But like I said, Papa Lowell was an amazing cook, a remarkable man uh, who done who done it all. Uh, like I said. He, partially by but the man was just amazing he, he, he was remarkable I miss my papa low I miss my grandma Idabo and I love him I guess the reporter is tough times for being grandma Idabo growing up but I love her and I miss her and I miss uh, my papa low as well reflecting on this great time of Thanksgiving just a wonderful wonderful thing to do thank you so much for going down memory lane with me I'll catch you next time